Hello, YouTube, and welcome back in to some Let's Play Civilization VI Build Exploring, one of my favorite pastimes. In fact, when we invented the fake GM Civ, my unique unit was the Build Explorer, <laughs> which I would I would be very very pleased with if we decided to go that route. If we if we ever made an actual GM Civ, so mine doesn't hurt anything. We already have apprenticeship though. If I take off this mine, this actually becomes Earth Goddess again. It's interesting. And we've stopped growing entirely. Yeah, so we're at seven of nine and we are basically stuck. I can fix it later on. Or an internal trade route. I'm just honest. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. I think that's my ranger, dude. Two turns on that. All right, we still need a bunch more settlers. Did Norway just get his religion? He got Hypatia, yeah. So he's my other religious competitor. That's fine. We need some science. We'll get that in four turns. Gonna go ahead and plunk this city down first. Okay. Are we not playing culture? No, we're playing culture. It's Christina. That is what she is best at. There's no new emotes. No new emotes. So let's start thinking about some other cities here. Um, reasonably happy to put a city on the Jade. This is a good seaside resort area. The Jade is nice because we won't have to mine it and we'll get extra tile expansion there. So that's actually pretty good. We're going to get this, which is going to block. Now, Russia could certainly come and put a city there. And at that point, we might have to go with Carolians to kick his butt. Because this city won't block this city center, sadly. She did. Okay, so she did get down here. So then where does where does this next city go? Maybe just here. And we plaza stack in between. Now granted, these are some decent tiles already with this river having flooded. And then maybe we can still get like one more city below it. Probably that. does that leave us with? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, triple. Wow. Triple iron. Hmm. I 
actually think we just do this. Since we were able to plan this city, which takes up some of this, we can do this. This can be our tundra settle. And then honestly, like maybe we do a snow settle over here with just like, you know, a, a, a completely throwaway forgettable city. So campus next to the reef, harbor next to the fish. So this is plus three. That's plus three. Not a holy site. This. <laughs> St. Basil's with what production here? I mean, there are chops if we want them. And there's actually a lot of production to be had here. Plus, this city is both uh, in the tundra, but also not on the tundra. This could even be a uh, research station city if we ever get there. Do you have to work the museums to get the tourism? No, you don't. Um, just like any other tile improvement, once you hit flight, they just start generating the tourism whether you work the tiles or not. Maybe? One, two, three. Maybe a coastal down here. Can't do both of these. Two, four, six. Maybe. Have fun, Hoag. See you, buddy. Do you think going religion early and having five faith returns is good for science victory too for monumentality? Not as much, um, generally speaking, because part of part of what makes these early like faith first and then into faith tiles strats good um, is that you can take advantage of Earth Goddess. But when you start thinking about a science victory, you start thinking about industrial zones and mines, right? Because you're you're going to wind up chopping a lot of stuff because there's just so much stuff that you need, and then you wind up building mines there. So you really take away from Earth Goddess. In fact, there are a lot of most victory types. I don't want you to go religion first unless you're specifically doing a religious victory. Um, I I think especially on deity. And again, I I talk from a deity perspective. I know you're coming at it from a multiplayer sp perspective, Essie. Um, so usually, unless you know what you're doing, I don't want you to found a religion first. Uh, but in culture games, having a faith economy can, can be quite good. Uh, but no, not really so much in science and domination um, as it is in like faith and culture for us. It can be, don't get me wrong, but uh, usually I avoid it. So back to this thought then. Play single two? Cool, yeah. Be afraid of Peter. Seems he's boxed in. Does it matter? The biggest thing I'm afraid of from Peter is that he's going to take this land from me. And then I'm going to be in a rough spot. I want a totally forward settler, but we might have to. I hate giving up all this food, but honestly, these cities aren't like I can't really focus the food. They they have they have some production, and they'll have other food over here. I guess I don't have to go like directly in the middle. Maybe we could move at once and still get some of the food. Like maybe here.
and then try to put any wonder next to it. What could go next to it? I don't know if I like that as much. Is Great Bath still available? It might be on some of these uh, on some of these Seven Seas maps. There aren't a ton of rivers, but actually, from where we're at, looks like people have them. Yeah, it could be something like Bolshoi or something later on. I'm also thinking of something earlier if we could prioritize it a little bit better. I honestly think this is just better. I think I will want a dam here eventually then. Maybe with someone's campus here. And then this can be pretty much any river based wonder. Like this is just a placeholder, but something like that. Cause then we wind up with, let's see, this is touching one, two, three. Could also just do the industrial zone there. It's interesting. Lots of nice chops here for them. This could actually be a, um, could actually be this. City's pretty good for that. Actually really good for that. We'll see. Maybe, 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 maybe. Okay, that was a good amount of planning. Would still like more down here. I would love Apadana. Apadana isn't really an option for us in this game. I have too many dead tiles in my cap. Keep in mind that we have to we have to budget those efficiently. Where will the dam go? Uh, any 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 damn well any damn where well I please. <laughs> we have options. There are other places we can put it. It won't probably protect these little guys because that's probably its own little river, which is actually quite annoying, but it's okay. Yeah, there are technically two rivers. It's really annoying. It's really quite annoying. Um, okay, then. Maybe I could grab a city in here. We'll see. Why don't I grab the government plaza then? I'm pretty sold on this. I don't see it getting better elsewhere, especially in harbor cities. Government plaza is pretty weak in harbor cities. It's just like they kind of have to self-contain to district um, instead of like reaching out and, and, and spanning two cities. The other option with government plaza would be to like build it over here on this river, but it's kind of the same same issue. Am I going for Machu? No, uh, we're, we're well past getting Machu on Deity AI. We actually already saw China building it um, right here. And I've seen it go like sub turn 50, which is very, very difficult to achieve on uh, Deity. I do have, I'm about to have both my shrines. So would I, would I pop my religion just for four culture per turn right now? It's really not that bad. The problem is, is it's going to actually hurt my overall loyalty this age. Um, and, I, and it's only going to spread it to two cities versus more. So I don't think I'm popping that unless I need it later on for um, era score. What you building there, dude? Speaking of Apadana. Yeah, Apadana, very, very difficult. Now, we could we could chop the heck out of it, but I, I don't think we can really give up the tile for it. Our cap like is going to have these two districts and then like a commercial hub there, and that's pretty much all they're going to get. Oh, my God, we found a second continent. <laughs> 
Uh, sometimes I can get Apadana on Deity, but it goes very, very quickly. Politics is the art of the pop. Now, I could switch into our Wonder Government here and think about chopping out anything. Um... I doubt Hanging Gardens. I, I I don't really even like Hanging Gardens that much. He's building it anyways. We don't get it there. All right, so you're going here, and then you're coming down here. And then I actually think I'm bringing you over there. Just so I can start to establish this. And I might try to like get something down there on Guitarja. Just trying to make positive trades, get people to like me. So I don't think I really have a, a wonder to chop out, so I don't really have to consider autocracy here too hard. Um, I guess the choppable ones would be like pyramids in seven turns. And then get up to uh, currency... But I don't think that's going to be worth it. Let's just jump into Classic Republic. I'm hoping that we don't have early war, so I'm not going to miss out on going into Oligarchy first. We can still work on the Wonder here, but it's seven turns away from um, Pyramids. Our cap could actually go back to settlers and probably needs to. So maybe we leave colonization in for the time being. And I actually think I'm going to run land surveyors just to get me the tiles I need to build these wonders. It's going to be a that that one kind of sucks just cuz we're not going to be able to to district around it but what do you do Oracle could be one that we want I actually very much need lumber mills. So much that we need. Just don't settle me, Peter. Give me a little bit longer, will you? Three twenty for the next one. Jerusalem. Have you played Teddy yet on the playthrough? No, he's pretty late. Howie. He's 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 like in the final run of it. Do you think the autocracy government switched to help out some wonders? That's what we were just talking about. Um, if I had wonders that I, I really wanted to chop out right away, I'd probably go there. Um, but I think the better uh, distribution we have, we have two cities with districts already. So like, I don't know. It's pretty close. Hey, Nick. It's going pretty well. How are you? We played Inca yet? Yeah, we played Inca. All right, so you go there. You come down here.
think I'm going to have them build a settler alongside um, campus. Could also start just getting builders. Happens when we play everyone. Um, I think one of those deals where like I had a chip implanted in my brain, and once we're done with the challenge this year, I just like switch off until the next one. So, no, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do when we're done. We'll have salty runbacks. We've lost four times in the challenge. I don't really like that here. Yeah, I'm just going to have them get a settler. not insignificant. How is said, said switch triggered? I don't know. <laughs> Losses have been... Uh, actually, I don't want to say them out loud. Chat can tell you. Um, I for, for, for the sake of people watching on YouTube um, that, that maybe haven't seen them all and don't want the spoilers, I'm not going to say it out loud, but chat can tell you. Cap can be a powerhouse rur. Not really. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 dead tiles in the cap. You're, you're looking for like 17 hills, not dead tiles in a rur city. Um, yes, it is very hilly, and that is good, but it actually wants um, lumber mills, not mines. Yeah, maybe, Neil. <laughs> And our capital's fine. It's just never going to be huge. And that's okay. Why lumber mills over mines? Because of Earth Goddess. If I chop these uh, forests, I'm going to give up all of my faith. Uh, and lumber mills are, fair, are, are pretty much just as productive as mines. Especially since they're available so much earlier now in the, in the tech tree. It's a, it's a change that I'm a big fan of, actually. Nice government plaza. Wasteful. I like to say I practice. All right, up to Petrotech, I think. Double this envoy. I probably want to wait a little bit longer and grab other envoys before I switch into Diplo League and send some out. Or we can wait a few more turns and grab one naturally here. Settlers and land surveyors. Anything I want to buy with land surveyors before I can switch off here? China does want to friend. Thank you. Yes, indeed. Wants to control all the islands. Hmm. Briefly, Znick. Briefly. My opinion is on the Las Vegas Raiders. <laughs> Meh. They've been they've been passed around quite a bit.
I, I like the line in basketball where like the Raiders moved from LA to San Francisco and back again and no one noticed or from LA to Oakland or whatever like and nobody noticed yeah <laughs> that's pretty much it Uh, yes, buy the tile for the government plaza. Good call. That's definitely one we want. What else might we want? Probably it. I can probably get rid of this now. One year down, a lifetime to go. Hey, I also glorious. know it's one year to the day because we got our youngest puppy one year ago yesterday and i subbed the first day babysitting them at home that's awesome tamorius thank you so much man thank you for the the whole year of support i really do appreciate it i uh, i hope that little puppy's that little pupper's doing well i'm jealous i want one i want one uh and thank you so much man welcome on back welcome back to the shop we're at 499 subscribers thank you so much tamorius appreciate you buddy when do we start, Jacob? Uh, I started about three hours ago. Three faith bot settlers for f so far. We bought one, two, three, four. That was our. F oh, we did build one. So four. We, we faith bought four. And Rogan getting us up to the even 500. Thank you, Rogan. Welcome in, Zek. Appreciate, appreciate the support. Thank you very, very much. 500 subs that's so awesome i it's seriously like like that's an unfathomable number uh from someone who started off is like i don't know if anyone's gonna want to watch me so i really do appreciate it thank you very very kindly maybe i keep this on for a little while i guess we could do this it's not much not a fan of inspiration yeah that's kind of where i was at evil but also, we can wait 11 turns. I don't see anything I really want to buy this exact second. So sad that they have Candy took both these uh, tiles. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll get the uh, dedication that we can culture bomb this back. And we can take these uh, plantations. What's up, Equinox? How you doing, dude? Great library. I'm very, very well. Thanks for asking. Yeah. Life is good, my friend. Self-isolating? Nah. Just licking stuff. <laughs> yeah, of course. Of course. Trying to be as responsible as possible. Maybe we'll get the... Um Get the uh, feudalism boost. Yo, Nisim, thank you so much. Or is it Nasim? Nasim. We have we have a Nisim, and now I have to get used to saying Nasim. Thank you so much, man. Welcome in, brand new sub. I appreciate it. Thank you for being 501st. You're the best. Thank you, thank you. So we get the desert era score for settling that. I guess I could have bought the Petra tile right away, but we're a little ways away from them actually being able to do it. Get them started. They're working a 2-2. Two -two. That's fine. I like these yellow colors. This is nice. Apadana to him. Oh no, he got the uh, gardens. Yeah, glad I didn't start that. Got that here. Okay. <laughs> that's pretty much, that sounds about right, Cornhog. That's just streaming in general. Like, streaming is like the best advertisement for playing a game you can possibly come up with. Yeah, 
in my mind. This city actually has good tiles. Should be working on this. Ever play Subnautica? You know what? Not really. Not for lack of desire, just haven't done it. a barb camp down there. Should have put in the wonder policy. Repairments. Money. This city could get government plaza. That's interesting. Think I'd enjoy Subnautica? Probably. Big shout out from a father of Uppsala. Nice. Fuck shot. That's awesome. That is awesome. Welcome, welcome. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Any tips for players just starting out? What's your experience with Civ? Like, did you play Civ 5 or Civ 4 or anything like that prior to this? Or is this just, just, is this your first uh, 4X game? This city kind of sucks. I don't really want to get it. Hey, Chris, how you doing? Played five and a little six. So it's very, very different from five in that five is a um, it's a game that really rewards you for playing tall. Like in Civ five, you, you often got, you know, what, three, four cities and you're pretty happy. That was enough for a lot of the victory types. Um, with Civ six, you get rewarded for going wide. So the biggest thing that you biggest adjustment to make fr from coming from five to six is getting a lot of cities and getting comfortable managing them. In a typical game, you should be going for like somewhere between eight to 12 cities. Um, so that's a big part of it. Uh, tiles and districts going on or uh, not tiles, but districts and wonders going on tiles uh, is something to get used to as well. Um, it's it, it's not too bad, but you need to start to uh, learn like the adjacencies, and those are those are kind of a, a familiarity thing. Best way to learn this game, just like just about anything else, is, is simply to watch, watch, enjoy, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. gonna say i know we're super close to our circumnavigate probably wanted that this era we need a uh, 13 more era score here yeah we might want to bring this guy over here just because of the forward settle potential of this city and then get that one later i'm doing well Yo, addicted nice. to animal crossing i made <laughs> all over again that's awesome i've never played an animal crossing sadly chris uh, but that's awesome, dude. I've heard everyone really loving it. Everyone seems to be streaming it as well. Um, so thank you so much for the three months, man. I can't believe it's been three months already. Welcome back into the shop. Good to have you here. Yeah, early archers are a big part of it. Beats Motel as well. Um, as far as dealing with barbarian aggression and some things like that. Probably not faith buying any more settlers. Might want to start saving this faith for feudalism um, and builders. Like these cities will get some borders going on and, and actually be able to use a builder or two. Versus a city like this is like kind of fine at the moment.
Maybe I just want one big city here and settle this. And then maybe like a, 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 a little coastal down here somewhere, possibly. I don't really have a uh, mausoleum city, do I? Is there a way to slow down the air changes? Play on uh, lower difficulties is really the only thing, Draco. Why am I pushing for mathematics? Petro City has no production yet. Uh, that's true, uh, but they will soon enough. Like, what else What else are we teching that's uh, useful, honestly? If you've got somewhere better for me to go at the moment, I'm happy to take that. Uh, maybe apprenticeship first, I guess? Although that's 7 and then 11 turns before going to this. I'd rather just unlock this and get the city going on it. So 1, 2... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Snow City is eleven, and then maybe one more down here for twelve. I could also see settling this little island, just because there is some production to be had there. But it's a little bit weird. What's worth more in this situation, a good road or an envoy with a cultural sieve? Um, is it your first envoy with a cultural sieve? Or do you have one there already? Yeah, construction, that's actually a good call. Construction could be quite good for us. Um, but I'm, I'm waiting on my boost to wheel uh, and and get the water mill. Like, I know I want a water in my, mill in my cap. We can we can grab that. Uh, I'm a little bit away from actually mining any resources, especially since we settled that one. So maybe I should consider hard teching it. But if I just prioritize, like, this settler to come over here, I can get this mining fairly soon. If it's your first envoy in a cultural sieve, you should definitely take the envoy. Definitely take the envoy. My man. Beats Motel, thanks for the follow, man. Welcome, welcome. Glad to have you here. Hey, I never builds Petra. It's true. We probably don't have to rush to that, but still. The earlier you get Petra, the better it's uh the better it becomes. Yeah, I think. City being there makes a little more sense. This will be a quality city. My man. I don't understand why you went there. And Essie, thanks for the follow, man. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. I want to keep going this way. Try to hook up the horses if we wanted to like sell some resources and things. That's always a good option against when you're playing with AIs. Just a lot of iron around them. Right, right, Sipion? Three there and then a fourth. Hey, Muth, how you doing, dude? What's happening? This canal city would probably be fine, but it's really aggressive. I guess that canal city is also fine. A little bit worse. We don't get that. Is trying to do an oracle. I probably wasn't getting to oracle. We're we're in expand mode.
Feudalism boost, very nice. Uh, Jebel's gone already, sadly. It's definitely a wonder that I like in a culture victory. Yeah, there's the Oracle. Could stand on it and make sure his builders can't do anything with it. <laughs> yeah, I like Jeb a lot for, for not only the iron, but the faith specifically. If bread is the first... Hey, I blocked your great writer yesterday. That's so rude. <laughs> That's so rude. Oh, dear. Eight turns there to have them get the government plaza. I much prefer this city with the government plaza just because they're gonna have so much housing and farms. This city's one job is to like get tall. So this is a much better government plaza if I can get it. If IV modern game was canceled, that's no good. Azorius? Sorry, sorry about that. What do you play in modern? All right, two envoys to send with Diplo League. We'll take the culture. These don't help my wonder building, so I don't really have to do that. We can just toss one in candy. Get a little more faith going on. Rude. He's being rude. All right. There's the end of the era. We're looking for 13 more era score. Um, I don't have Magnus here, but we could actually um, move him. Teenage zombie apocalypse. Nice. Am I sure no one's building the pyramids? No, I'm not sure of that at all. But I'm thinking I'm going to chop for it. Yeah, we're the only ones that we can see. Any quests while the card's in? Oh, actually, I should have uh, paid more attention. Because, yeah, this is going to be first suzerain. We already got that, NC. Yeah, we could get a boat. Definitely want to start thinking about things like that. But would be good. I need that Eureka. Could I also just get one more builder here or one more settler for the Snow City and possibly other ones? Yeah, I can build a boat. I've got a coastal down here. Another city down there. I love that he's just skipping all of this land 
to settle closer to me. <laughs> Can this boat go anywhere? I mean, it's inland sea, so like you're never gonna have you're never gonna have a boat that's in a body of water that can get to every body of water. Or did I say inland sea? This is seven seas map, seven seas. So it's just kind of weird. We're gonna go settle the tundra. That's gonna be era score. Yeah, right. Canals being the exception. No one plays Inland Sea? It's because it's terrible. <laughs> Inland Sea is not fun. I don't care what anybody says. Yeah, maybe a little coastal down there. I don't know. Plaza will start very soon. I could also get a unit to come and try to clear this camp. I think I'm going to make it a Spearman, just so I can maybe get the Eureka. I guess it's the same difference. It's weird. It was a weird river cross. Oh, if I settle here, I don't get this. Hmm. I have a feeling they're going to die. I'm also worried about this. We got to keep an eye on this settler. Where are you going? Probably just coming up here or Vessel could be going large, here. Maybe. I would like to take advantage of that land, but... tile. Maybe this last charge is for this. My man. And Dipper, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome, welcome. know what this how this scout's gonna get out from this it's 16 turns to build the galley two iron I, i'm gonna sell iron probably everyone so here's here's here this is a, a small frustration of mine in this game because everybody is on the same continent, no one is going to be able to trade luxuries together. 
Like Norway has this tiny sliver of Colombia, and we still haven't found whatever tiny continent is less left. So, unfortunately, why did I move back? Because we could sneak in another city. Uh, I like this city just because it's going to get uh, like that seaside resort, I think is probably worth moving back towards. And then if I do want another city, I can make it a coastal and like forward settle them. If I do that, like what's the coastal I'm getting this? It, it's like all shared tiles. I just don't think it's super worth it. I can also theoretically settle this, although I'm not going to. 8 turns on the era. So with the science going on. Um so does anyone not have gypsum? Ooh, that was a lot of raw gold. You have it. <laughs> I cannot pause it. I'm sorry. Have fun at the store. You already have it, obviously. And how about you? Oh, okay. That works for me. 10 gold per turn is a lot. Yeah, Pedro's offer would have given us more raw gold. We still have several turns for that to actually kick in, and then we can sell our iron for raw gold. Um, so that's probably fine. So, uh, And that's going to do it for this video. So if you're watching over on YouTube, thank you so much for uh, watching, and we will see you all in the next one.